Hi guys, it's your girl Shay and welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back whichever one it is. Anyways, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Anyways, um so today we're doing something a little bit different. You know, instead of the normal vlogs, whatever, I'm gonna be spilling the tea. I'm gonna do a little story time. Honestly, because sh I am, I get tired of vlogging. It is so draining. Um, but anyways, I tried to do a makeup tutorial, and my makeup is looking horrible. I don't know what's happening with my eyes. Oh, why does it look like this? Anyways, I'm gonna do a little story time. Um, so today's story time is gonna be about <laughs> how I found out that my man at the time <laughs> i'm just joking how my boyfriend she saw me slashed smashed another girl on instagram live <laughs> so guys let me just give you guys a little background story ne? please ignore my nail yeah let me give you guys a background story ne? to what happened before all of this came about so cool so me and let's give this name him trevor so me and trevor were friends right it's cool as me and trevor were friends i was once upon a time busy with trevor's best friend trevor and I, trevor's best friend was full of nonsense we cut ties and then trevor was always trying his luck and it was just too messy to be with trevor because number one he had a girlfriend number two he wants was busy with my best friend at the time and number three he was best friends with the guy i was with or busy with so it was just too complicated or just too messy so i'm like nah so boy would try guys let me tell you boy would try bro boy be in my dms on some let me take you out on a date still waiting for this date till this day anyways <laughs> i'm just joking so me and trevor ended up having like a, a friendship because we didn't live far from each other and for some reason we were always associated with the same people or the same people around us so it was always like i'm gonna look out for you type of thing cool and one thing about me shame oh i had trevor's back oh i never wanted to see trevor get played shame anytime there was snack things happening i tell him trevor get your egg rights and lost this girl alone but you know cool so guys i really hope my makeup don't look bad that's why i'm far away from the camera i don't want to be oh that you're gonna see anyways um so <laughs> trevor and i we end up dating right and when i tell you i met trevor in during the worst time of my life i was really going through it say i was really going through it and I'm not even going to lie, Trevor held me down, Jim. Trevor did. Trevor genuinely did, especially because I wasn't the type to like let in a, like, I wasn't the type to let a boy in because there were just too many boys in my life, always coming and going. And Trevor, man, Trevor took his time to, to, you know, hmm, guys. And yeah, Trevor and I started dating in September and then I kind of cheated in October, but I told him, and yeah, man, like, I mean, the relationship with Trevor was, it was, it was nice. I'm not even going to lie. It was like him and I against the world type of nonsense. Like we were both messed up and when we were together, we like kind of forgot like our, our problems and whatever, you know? So yeah, it was, it was nice, you know, it was. It was nice <laughs> so obviously as i um i cheated okay let me not i did cheat i kissed another boy cool i told trevor trevor forgave me and technically i was the first one to cheat and i was the one who cheated first in the relationship or whatever so me because i know what type of person i am i'm a leg back type of person i obviously was expecting trevor to get his leg back but oh boy gave me your shoe and said no baba mm -mm. it's not gonna be like that 
psych anyways Trevor was doing nonsense I just didn't know about it but anyways let me even tell you guys why I did not think this man was doing nonsense the whole relationship or the relationship to the that period of the relationship guys Trevor wanted me to live in his skin anytime he got his mom gave him a car Shay let's go like I was always running errands with him he wanted to see me all the fucking time and also communication was bad on his end but then I'll tell him like you know like like communicate with me if you're going out with your friends tell me and I won't bother you I'll leave you alone until you tell me you're home so you know it was like oh baby I'm going one two three and what 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 yo what okay please ignore my makeup looking crazy anyways so as i was saying you know like hey guys trevor really made me think that he loved me and i was the only one for him and you know and especially because he wanted me for such a long time he finally has me like i'm all yours baby like i'm all yours but ha huh, then okay cool so um and also guys let me tell you um the previous boy that i was with before i got with trevor made me think that i was such a difficult like i was too damaged to be loved that any man that loved me was mentally ill let me tell you so when i saw trevor and trevor wanted to love me for me with every with every like she wanted to love me like with all my flaws and everything and i was like anyways guys again please hear from a childhood traumas before you take a man serious but i okay cool so trevor and i were dating maybe like three months now ne? and it's nice ne? it's nice there's obviously a lot of issues here and there you know but like it's nothing too crazy you know <laughs> fine so let me tell you what happened in december of 2021 so me and trevor i think we're dating now three months three months four months three months i think yeah cool and then as we're dating three months let me tell you guys i met trevor's parents both his mom and his dad and his granny okay i met his mom and his dad the first month i was dating i met his granny the third month i was dating and his uncles and you want to tell me that's a man that's not taking me serious <laughs> anyways cool so hey <laughs> guys Anyways, cool. So, um, telling the story, it breaks my heart, but okay, fine. So, December, cool, PND, we were there, you know, you know, fine. And then I get COVID, like, bad, bad, like, I was like coughing blood that bad. And then I had just recovered and then I snuck out to see him. It became a whole big issue. My parents really disliked him. So the 31st comes, right? And I wanted to go out. I had the money to go out, but obviously she were my parents. My parents already hated Trevor. And I knew if I went out again on the 31st, they were gonna hate Trevor even more and we're just gonna make our relationship difficult because we didn't live far from each other so we would see each other whenever we wanted to so that was gonna be a problem so I decided to stay home for my relationship so that my parents can make my relationship easier to understand or like Trevor a little bit it's just love <laughs> So cool. So before the 31st, I tell Trevor, Trevor, if you fuck up, tell me. And one thing I had, I had this one girl that if you tell her with your ex, leave me alone. Leave me alone. So I told him, if you get with your ex, so much just then and then we are done, right? No, baby, wait, wait, wait. Hi, right, but fine. So that's what I had told him. So I was going to forgive him if he did cheat. Basically, I told him that that if you fuck up, tell me. I don't want to hear from other people. I want you to tell me and we'll move past it. But if you tell her what your ex, 
say bye 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 you know mm -mm. so cool so <laughs> the very first comes he's texting me oh baby i'm here 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 or oh, at that time he called me baba and i would feel so special only the finally called everyone and then mother baba anyways fine oh baba i'm here one two three what 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 i'm like no problem baby okay at that time i never called him baby i found it cringe but i was like no problem text me when you get home or call me when you get home guys when i tell you ne, trust your guts like something inside me just while well, not feeling okay and i just started crying out of nowhere on the 31st and i just thought because i'm spending new year's eve alone but i've always been New Year's eve alone so why am i crying why am i feeling at unease what hey, what am i saying is it at unease or at whatever you know like what's happening but it's funny that now nah, man that's fucking it's getting done and dirty <laughs> fine very first it it ends i sleep he calls me in the morning hi baba happy new year love you so much can i please come see you da, 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 da. i'm like yeah you can come see me you know so i'm waiting for this man to come see me and then i'm not even over exaggerating after the call my friend messages me shay why don't you come to the event i'm like ah dude i make up a lame excuse and then she's like he'll tell you man was busy every time i saw him i saw him with a different girl i can't get out i said what you must be joking you must be i say trevor what nonsense is this trevor's like no i wasn't busy i was only busy with two girls because i wanted to avoid my ex well he's an excuse for being busy with girls was to avoid his ex because i told him if you get with your ex we're done we're done so his excuse for cheating with two girls or being busy with two girls was to avoid his ex when you could have easily just said girl leave me alone but maybe that wasn't in his vocabulary i don't know but fine so then um i'm like nah dude i told you to tell me you don't want to tell me now fuck you blah, 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 bye Psh. and then we fight the boy decides he's gonna go m.i.a whatever the whole weekend now i'm trying to get more information and i'm asking my friend like who's this girl my friend's like she don't know this girl it's the first time seeing her but the way he was grabbing her holding her bum kissing her everywhere like So because i know men men are trash and you can't you can't trust men there was this one guy that i knew was going to be with trevor at the event i told him to look out for me and report back so i'm waiting on the reports but boy is taking his own time to respond back but fine then um i saw going crazy i saw going crazy i'm like i think i'd send trevor maybe a hundred and something messages that stop it get some help and then he comes back and he's like i'm so sorry i'm like you know what me i've relaxed i feel like i achieved it first so it's okay you got your leg back we can move forward with this but i'm gonna ask you one thing did you smash this girl he told me no because the way my friend was explaining to me what happened it sounded like they did tell her you know but i asked him he said no why do i think this man was honest with me or was going to be honest with me i don't know but fine then who oh guys his mother decides she's going to apologize on his behalf hi she i'm so sorry and i forgive him and his mom so yeah that was the story that happened sunday nights cool then obviously I had a finster at the time, so now I'm, I'm venting on my finster. And remember that guy I said I cheated on Trevor with? He was on my finster. So boy decides he's gonna go live and ask me to join and ask me, Shay, what's cutting, you know? So <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I heard one, two, three, one, two, three, da, 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 da. But I forgave him because, you know, like I cheated on him first and whatever. And let me tell you what this boy turns around and says to me. Shay, you and I, we kissed. 
this boy smashed another girl. I'm like, no, he didn't smash her. I asked him and he said no. <laughs> Did I, I mean, and his mom apologized and did it and we we all good, you know, that's my man. My for life for ne? Some girl comments. You're calling him your boyfriend, but he smashed my friend on Friday. Not even smash, she used the words fuck. Fuck. Fuck my friend on Friday. Know your worth. No, then everyone, know your worth, know your worth. People are the one my friends. Were they in the comments of this live? He's been cheating on me since day one. What? And guys, let me tell you, I was fighting for my life and for my relationship in that live. Why? Because this man never gave me a reason to doubt him. So why am I gonna doubt my man? Like he's never given me a reason to doubt him. So why must I listen to you little haters just talking? No. That's my man. No one knows my man like I do. Uh. <laughs> and what I found really like messed up about the whole situation was the people that were there in the live talking <laughs> we're my friends that's so crazy anyways that day i, I saw who my real friends are anyways yo guys i tried to fight for my life you know and then my brother got tired of me shouting and screaming he unplugged the wi-fi and i'm very grateful for him for doing that because when i look back i look like a fucking clown trying to explain myself trying to explain myself and my my relationship to a bunch of people who i don't give a fuck about or who don't give a fuck about me so glad he disconnected the wi-fi because i was looking like a clown and so i asked trevor the next day hey what is what's cutting like why am i hearing one two three one two three so trevor confronts the girl who said he had smashed some girl but in the paragraph he doesn't tell the girl you are spreading lies about me. He tells the girl, why are you talking about me? Why are you spreading my business or whatever? Ne? That should have been the first red flag that I am in. This isn't lies, right? And then the girl's like the girl responds, she's like, Oh, he ends a paragraph and he's like, She's not your friend, da 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 da, -da. don't disrespect her, something like that. And she turns around and says, um, she doesn't have to be my friend to know that you've been clowning us since day one. And from that day, I never ever had, I never ever held anything against that girl shame. Like maybe her approach about it was messy, but she had the good intentions somewhere, somewhere, you know. Because she was the only person who was telling me the fact that this man was doing. And I was just completely clueless, you know. And it was so crazy because I quite I knew a few people. How did I not know what nonsense this man was doing? Like, but I, okay, fine. But then again, guys, I was very delusional. Shame, yo, know, my once upon a time, my friend who was his friend told me, Shay, you are in an illusion. Nothing is real. And I was like, no, 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 she wasn't lying. She was like, nothing was ever real with him. Like all the, the sweet talk, the, the nice gestures. Yeah, it wasn't real. <laughs> it wasn't real anyways. So after the whole thing, I forgive him. He was supposed to come and explain himself. He did come, but he didn't explain himself. Instead, no, 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 I'm missing a story. So remember the guy I told you, I, I was asking to like report back. So he calls me on the Monday. This live happened, happened on the Sunday. He calls me on the Monday. He's telling me about the girl. He gives me the girl's name. What happened? How they were, they were busy kissing and they disappeared. So he thinks they do smash. They did smash. So when I ask Trevor about it, Trevor's like, you know, this boy wants you. But besides that. This boy isn't going to just come up with this gut out of his ass. Clearly, it's real events. So whether he's lying, no, whether he wants me or doesn't want me, fact remains that you are dollaring and you can't own up to your shits. Guys, when I tell you, it's a whole year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, December. Yeah. For this man to own up. 
that he dallied with this girl but cool we're not there so obviously now the guy who's telling me what's happening the way he's explaining the events yo guys whoo, i've never ever in my life been made a clown like that ever i've never ever been publicly embarrassed like that ever in my life no let's just laugh <laughs> When I tell you, I didn't know what to do. I remember I deleted Instagram. I deleted WhatsApp. I went offline for like two days. Because people still spoke about the life after it happened. And the same people that were talking about the life was my friends. Right? Oh, and wait. Let me tell you one comment, guys. That it hit home. I was see everyone in the live was like, know your worth, know your worth, da 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 da. But the one girl was like... You are so desperate to be loved, you. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. And at the time, I was... But now, damn girl. So real. So real. Because I genuinely feel like if I did love myself or if I had some love in my life. <laughs> some love in my life. Yes. Yeah, then maybe I would see past his bullshit. But fact remains that I didn't. Guys, and that's why I say again, heal from the childhood traumas before you, you take a man serious. So yeah, so hey guys, you know it was it was it was really it was oh it was a humbling experience for me because oh guys back then I used to think I was popping place, let me tell you. I used to think I was the catch the prize okay i still am but i was very cocky i was very bitchy Ooh. and shame that man just showed hey that man just showed me that no matter how pretty you are or even if you think you're beyonce <laughs> you're not gonna be the only one <laughs> but anyways <laughs> who guys mm -mm. So yeah, so obviously um he 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 denied it. Denied and denied and denied and denied. And um the one time he comes, oh yeah, when he came over to explain, instead of explaining, I remember we were in the line for Capitic, and you know those lines are quite long. And he was like, Oh, you know that girl from the 31st? She has the same colour eyes as yours, right? And guys, my eyes are very unique, you know, they're very you know. And a lot of people like the color of my eyes. And, you know, so it made me feel special, right? Considering that there's only like 7% of the world's population with hazel eyes. I'm damn special. But it's such a coincidence that the girl you cheated on me with has the same color eyes as mine. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Yeah. And she was colored. And those were the two things Boy loved about me. He loved the fact that I was colored, the fact that I had hazel eyes. Because he would go on and on and on. Oh, I'm dating a colored. Oh, my girl is colored. Ooh, do, do, do. And everything that made me special in his eyes, Miss Girl had them too. So can you imagine how I was feeling? Oh. I was feeling like shits. Let me tell you. I was feeling like shits. I was, mm, guys, I've never ever in my life experienced that kind of hurt. Okay, I'm lying. <laughs> I've lost some some loved ones. But it's a thing of you genuine with someone for the first time ever. First time ever. You're genuine with someone. And they just fuck you over. You. And hey, shame. The way you find out made it even worse. But uh, guys, you know, I forgive him. Why did I forgive him? I don't know, guys. Because it was the beginning of the end when I forgave him. <laughs> I should have just left. <laughs> I should have just... Yo, why does my eyebrow look like that? Mm -mm. I should have just left. I should have just left, but 
Hey guys, I was convinced that this man loved me. I was convinced that all of y'all are just haters and y'all just hating on our relationship. Whole time, I, you guys were trying to, trying to tell me, but I was just, I was delusional, Shane. That is the word, I was delusional. And I was so desperate to be loved. Like, I just wanted to be loved so much that I didn't even consider the disrespect that this man was showing towards me the the disrespect the dishonesty the disloyalty like but anyways <laughs> anyway guys that's the tea that's the story time tune in for the next video maybe i'll explain to you guys how the one night stand ended up being the side chick for six months seven months maybe i'll tell y'all maybe we'll see but yeah guys anyways um don't be like me you're from a childhood traumas don't take a man serious especially in your your youth days enjoy your youth Dala with everyone break hearts because when they when it comes to them breaking your hearts yay they don't go easy on you so yes anyways anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video and please subscribe comment share all those things and yeah and see you guys in the next video